Interesting facts about famous people. Harry Carey Jr. Doe. Henry George Carey Jr. His father gave him the nickname Dobe shortly after his birth because his red hair reminded him of the adobe soil at the ranch. Born 1921 to 2012, appeared in more than 90 films, many television series and several John Ford Western films. Carey tried a singing career to avoid acting after leaving the Navy. Unsuccessfully, he started acting in the John Ford Stock Company with his father collaborating frequently with director John Ford, who was also a close friend. He appeared in such notable Ford films as 1948's Three Godfathers, 1949's She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, 1956's The Searchers, and 1964's Cheyenne Autumn. Both his parents appeared in Ford's films as well. He is in every early episode of The Lone Ranger, becoming a respectable character actor, just like his father. Harry appeared in many westerns, making four films with director Howard Hawks, Red River, which featured both Carrie and his father in separate scenes, followed by Monkey Business, Gentlemen's Preferred Blondes, and Rio Bravo. Carrie is credited in Rio Bravo, but his scenes were cut. Carrie thinks that Hawks either did not like Carrie's outfit or cut the scenes because Carrie addressed Hawks as Howard instead of Mr. Hawks. Carrie also worked with John Wayne, making nine films together, first in Red River and finally in Cahill, US Marshal. He also worked in nine films alongside Ben Johnson between 1955 and 1957, including Rio Grande and Cherry 2000. Carrie also played the ranch counselor, Bill Burnett, in the series Spin and Marty. Carrie appeared on such Western series as Have Gun Will Travel and The Legend of Jesse James. In 1962, Carrie was cast as Mitch Evers in the episode Court of the Western series Lawman with John Russell and Peter Brown. In 1972, saw Carrie in a most comedic role as the character Holy Joe in the Terence Hill Spaghetti Western Man of the East. In 1980, Carrie portrayed George Arthur in the movie The Long Riders, a film about the exploits of Jesse James. In 1984, he played Mr. Anderson in Gremlins. In 1985, Carrie played the aging biker Red in the movie Mask. In 1987, Carrie was a featured actor in the film The Wales of August with Bette Davis, Lillian Gish, Vincent Price and Anne Southern. Carrie portrayed a good-natured and noisy handyman and delivered his lines in a perfect Maine accent. In 1990, Carrie appeared in the film Back to the Future Part 3 in a saloon scene set in 1985. In 1993, he made a cameo in the film Tombstone as Marshal Fred White. Carrie attempted to produce a film called Comanche Stallion, a project which John Ford had considered making in the early 1960s, based on the 1958 book by Tim Milstead. Carey, like many support actors, helped make the cinematic world come to life for all of us. Rest in peace, Harry. Thank you for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Please leave me your comments. I do appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.